Let's have a look at the process of setting up a new item that's using auto batch numbering but using it in the new warehouse management module in AX2012 R3. So there's a few settings that you want to configure in the setup of the item to use the new warehouse management. So first thing is I'm in the inventory management menu here and I'm in the number um, group, so the dimension numbering groups. So if we have a look at the setup here there's a couple in the demo data that are set up for uh, auto batch numbering so I'm going to use this one batch auto and this one's just using a number sequence but of course you could use the other structures and we're updating inventory transactions on uh, physical um, and then in these particular documents in this case so let's go and create a new item so I'm going to go into product information management our release products and we'll create a new uh, release product here and I'm going to go like X440 and here we can specify the model group now it's important to understand the reservation concepts and some of these are related to the item model group um, so you'll see there's settings here related to reservation but there's also new settings related to the new warehouse management so I'll have a look at those so I'm going to go into my item group this just specifies our account posting now the storage dimensions are important um, I'm going to use this one in our demo data uh, because this one is set up for the new warehouse um, dimensions which are inventory status and license plate and it's set up to use the new warehouse so that's quite important if you're going to use the item to use the new warehouse management processes with batches um, because that needs to be set on the storage dimension group now the tracking dimension group because that's what we're setting up I'm specifying a batch and again on that storage dimension that is active which is batch this product is just in eaches for the sake of the example so we'll leave eaches as it is so that's the item created let's go and have a look at some additional settings on that item. So first thing is um, I'm going to specify a basic price so I'm going to say it's the $50 and I'm going to set basic sell price so 100 and when we come down here into the inventory group we'll see that we have tracking batch number group and so we saw the number group before so we we're going to pick batch auto so this will be batch uh, auto numbering in this particular case so we can specify some additional things I'm just going to specify the cost now because this item is going to use the warehouse management processes we need to use the unit sequence group as a minimum um, because the item was set up as each is I'm just going to use the each uh, unit sequence group so that's important for the warehouse management processes that you specify unit sequence group on the item now there's some additional fields here but this is configured on the master um, for shipping documentation printing out through warehouse so we'll go and configure those at the end so this is um, the item set up now we need to specify um, our basic uh, default order settings and so I'm going to specify you'll see this is a default order of purchase type so this is just something we buy in sell out and if we have a look at the uh, site we're going to just specify two as our site now the site specific settings I'm going to specify a warehouse which is 24 in this demo data so if we have a look at the details here you'll see that if we scroll down to the warehouse settings this is enabled for the new warehouse process this is, a, this is obviously important if we want to use this item um, in the warehouse processes with the new warehouse concept so that's the um, default uh, order settings and the site specific order settings set up. Now there's another parameter that's quite important I mentioned earlier in the video about reservations so we need to specify a reservation hierarchy um, and this is important for the new warehouse management system because if we don't uh, it won't work you'll get an error message later. Now the order of the hierarchy is important depending on how you want to manage batches so you'll see here in this particular case this hierarchy has a batch number at the bottom after location and license plate this means that the warehouses is going to make the decisions about selecting batches first in first out examples uh, 
for example. So if that's how you want the processes to run, um, this is an example of a, a hierarchy that you can use. If you want to be able to reserve batch at the sales order, for example, if that's something important that you um, select batches uh, for the people in the warehouse to pick, then you want to be able to reserve batch um, earlier in the sequence. So it, in this case, in this case, in this hierarchy, it's moved above the location and the license plate, um, so that someone could reserve the batch um, at a sales order, for example. So that's important to understand the differences in the hierarchy and the effect on the overall processes. So it's worth going through those examples to understand the difference. And we'll see different examples in some later videos that I'll make on the effect of these. So at least um, we need to specify it. I'm going to say batch above in this particular case so that we can see it uh, in action. Um, so let's say OK. So that's our item set up. Really the difference here for the batch is of course our tracking dimension and we're using the warehouse so we've specified our warehouse storage dimension group. We've got our reservation hierarchy set up and if we have a look at our inventory we've specified our order batch number group and again because it's warehouse uh, enabled we specified a unit sequence group so I'm just going to save this item so it's X440 let's go and configure our um, additional uh, transport codes so I'm going to go into product information management um, in our product masters I'm going to look for our X440 product and let's go and edit that. So we'll see that we've got our codes here. So I'm just going to specify a value so that it'll print later. So these are the values that you can specify um, if you need to use those or you're going to use the transport. These are needed in some cases for um, some of the shipping document to print out like bill of ladings for example. So if we go back to our released item um, and if I hit refresh now um, then we're going to get our codes, we'll see them on our item. So that's a quick walkthrough setting up an item for auto batch numbering for the new warehouse management. We'll use that later in some processes to see 